Welcome to Evening Prayers with the Stamford Methodist Circuit for Tuesday the 1st of November. I'm pleased to be leading these prayers and I'm Andrew Hollins, the Circuit Superintendent Minister. Our prayers this evening continue under the general theme which we've been following this week, uh, the theme from the Methodist Church Prayer Handbook of Grace Abounding. But today is also All Saints Day, which is one of the great festivals in the church calendar. Because Methodists, like many Christians in the Protestant tradition, haven't really given a great deal of focus to saints in the traditional sense of that word. And also because All Saints Day generally tends to fall on a weekday rather than a Sunday more often, we haven't really tended to uh, observe this festival, it slips by for many Protestant Christians almost unnoticed. The words of the call to worship which we're using this week, words from an evening liturgy from the Wild Goose Resource Group of the Iona community, are very appropriate tonight as we gather with this theme of grace abounding, but also as we observe together All Saints Day, as we gather together in God's presence. We are met in the presence of God and we do not meet alone with the angels in highest heaven, with the saints of every age, with the church throughout the world, we gather to worship the Lord. And so let us pray. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age. As we rejoice in the faith of your saints, inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Bible reading is some very familiar words from Jesus which come in what we call his Sermon on the Mount in St Matthew's Gospel. The Beatitudes in which Jesus describes the nature of the life of blessedness which is lived by his followers. These verses are one of the traditional Bible readings for All Saints Day and so we hear from Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 to 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. <coughs> Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Our hymn this evening is one of Charles Wesley's great hymns from the section of the hymn book entitled The Communion of Saints. It's a hymn which is traditionally sung at the annual Methodist conference at the memorial service for people who've died as we remember those who've rendered faithful Christian service and ministry. We remember them with profound thanksgiving on behalf of the whole church. I couldn't find an online recording of this hymn sung to the traditional tune that's used at the Methodist Conference, the tune St Matthew. So instead, the hymn is sung for us tonight to a tune usually associated with quite a different Christian festival 
quite a different celebratory time of the Christian year. The hymn is Come, let us join our friends above that have obtained the prize. been said that no Christian is solitary. We are members one of another in Christ, members of a company of saints whose mutual belonging transcends death. That's clearly reflected in some words from Charles Wesley's hymn which we've just shared. One family we dwell in him, one church above beneath. Though now divided by the stream, the narrow stream of death. All Saints Day celebrates the lives of men and women in whom the Church as a whole has seen the grace of God powerfully at work. It's an opportunity to give thanks for their lives, but also to give thanks for God's grace, for the wonderful way in which God's grace shapes human lives. All Saints' Day is a time to be encouraged, encouraged by the example of the saints, and also to recall that sanctity, or saintliness, can grow in the most ordinary of circumstances and also in the face of extraordinary crisis as we live our human lives under and influenced by God's grace. So let's pray. 
united in the company of the faithful and looking for the coming of your kingdom. We pray to you, O God, the source of all holiness. Remember in your mercy all those gone before us who have been well pleasing to you. Preserve in your faith your servants here on earth. Guide us to your kingdom and grant us your peace at all times. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We end our worship with a blessing for All Saints Day. God give us grace to follow his saints in faith and truth and gentleness. And the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us now and for evermore. Amen. So thank you for sharing these prayers this evening with me as we've remembered God's grace abounding, especially to the saints and those of us who remain saints here on earth. Thank you for sharing these prayers as we've observed All Saints Day together. I look forward to sharing prayers with you again tomorrow when we shall move from All Saints Day to All Souls Day. Good night and God bless you.